What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be showing you how I reopened my PUA claim through Michigan Unemployment for you. Let's get into it. First, I went to the Michigan Unemployment website, logged into my MyWim. Okay, now that I'm on my MyWim, I'm going to click on Claimant Services. Then I'm going to scroll down. There's going to be a list of options under that tab. Um, and then I'm going to click on Submit additional information right here if your claim has been stopped and you have received instructions to reopen your claim it should take you to this page at the top it'll say reopen PUA claim and PUA application okay so you're not starting a brand new application you're not doing a brand new um, a brand new claim really is just going to take you to the steps so you can just reopen the already existing claim you had from the CARES Act but for some reason a system was is making me and everybody else do this for whatever reason who knows okay so you want to scroll down some more on this page and really you should read through this guideline paragraph because it tells a lot about the eligibility and what are the do's and don'ts for reapplying for a new claim um, it also has a bottom right here it says you uh, will need the following information to successfully complete your claim and the list goes as followed driver's license number state ID number mailing address county method of payment um, alien registration if you not from here but you just become a US citizen and this is the most important part 1099 for self-employment or any other income verification documents I'm gonna get into that and explain more details on that in my next video but for now I'm just gonna continue doing my claim if you've done this before then you should already have all this and you shouldn't have to worry about it all right let's continue go down to the right hand corner right bottom corner actually and click on next it'll take you to this page Oh, look at this this page looks familiar it looks just like uh, the list of certification questions for the um, for the PUA for COVID-19 or whatever okay so you're gonna want to answer these questions basically the same way you would answer when you're certifying um, on this claim which is technically now your previous claim I'm not gonna show you my answers on how I'm gonna answer the claim because I'm not trying to you know instigate anything or make anybody do anything or anything like that you know not trying to get in trouble no fraud over here anyway you go down continue now I'm on the bottom half of this page and it says you're not eligible for unemployment assistance or PUA if you um, are paid the full amount of regular wages for either of the following teleworking or paid on sick leave which means if you made any money at all, working at all, you're not eligible for PUA because you have a job, you have income. Why do they want to pay you if you, uh, you're you actually making money in a way that doesn't involve you interacting with other people? You know? After reading through these, I'm pretty likely to answer no to most of these questions. Um, they don't, if I answer yes to any of these questions, then I'd probably be automatically disqualified. So, let's continue. Okay, now we're getting to the heart of the matter. This question down here on the bottom, ask and states, and it's really important how you answer this question next. I'm going to read it for you. You're filing to reopen your PUA claim. The end date of your last PUA claim was January 1st, 2021, or January 2nd, 2021, which was my last claim date. Somebody, somebody else's might be different. I'm not exactly sure, but this is important. Okay, so that was the hard part, in my opinion. Now we're at the part where you just got to talk about you. You basically, that's for your first, middle, last name, suffix, and when we get down here, it's gonna ask you for your Michigan driver's license or your ID number. So 
hopefully you either remember it by heart or you have um you have it somewhere on your person because it's really important you know, i don't think you, you i don't think you can get past this step without it but i'm not 100 these next couple tabs go pretty quick address information it's already filled out for you contact information should already be filled out for you additional information I'm gonna have to stop here and answer this question and it says are you a US citizen um, well absolutely so you just press yes and go to the next tab it's asking me to re-enter my payment information well as if it was, this was my first time, but it's asking me to re-enter my payment information. Do I want direct deposit or a debit card from the unemployment agency? Me personally, I'm gonna keep going with what I was doing in the first place, and I'm gonna stick with direct deposit. Well, after you click on direct deposit, it's gonna bring you down here to tell you to fill out everything that corresponds with your debit card or bank account that you probably already did before which makes this really annoying but if you did it before you should be able to have all this information available and you can do it again so that's what I'm about to do fill this out I'm gonna click on agree oops wrong button I'm gonna fill all this out pause the video so that way all my information is not over the, all over the internet Okay, so now I'm on step eight. After I got done filling out my payment method, it's the next tab. It says, how do I want to receive my mail? Do I, do I want to do it through my email address and go green, or do it through the mail? I mean, th anything can happen. You might move or whatever. I mean, email is always the best way because your email address, is, email box is always right in your hand. And after that, it'll tell you to after you select go green and press next, it'll take you to the next tab, which is number nine. Understand your rights. You gotta click, I understand all these, all three boxes. You might as well, cause you're not gonna move forward unless you tell them that you know what's going on. And it's all basically about the fraud notices. And are you stealing someone else's stuff? If you're making money and you're not supposed to, when we find out you're in trouble, that type of thing. Don't worry about it. Press next step. It'll take you to a page right here where you can review everything that you just did, you know, make any corrections, one through step nine, I mean one through step eight. And after you confirm everything and that you're okay with what's going on here, um, the last information screen. Press OK, and after that, we'll see what happens next. Okay, so now you should automatically be able to certify. And I'm assuming after I get done certifying these couple weeks, this date under my name, where it says the end date for my claim is January 2nd, will change to the actual date of April 4th, because that's when our claims are all supposed to be stretched to all right guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and comment if you found this video helpful and if you know somebody else that's struggling with this and they need some tips or some advice um send them over to my channel or just give them some advice to yourself you know don't leave out anybody out in the cold because everybody needs help right now with everything that's going on so thank you everybody and uh, just remember the more you know farther you can go.